So what are you making, Mary? Well, I'm making a um, small baker, kind of a square uh, baking dish that's made from a flat slab. like this shape mm -hmm. when it's done. So I start with a flat slab and cut out a pattern. So it's a little slow going, but mm -hmm. you have to figure out how things will transform from a flat shape into a three-dimensional form. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit like sewing, which I did a lot of sewing when I was a girl. So is this, this is called hand building as opposed to uh, wheel throwing, right? Yes. And it's a slab construction because I started with a slab that I rolled out. But hand building also includes coils, adding coils on. So really, it's just a different method of working with clay. Mm -hmm. All sorts of different forms you can make with hand building. I used to throw on the wheel, and then I would take the forms and try to change the shape. Mm -hmm. And you still do some wheel throwing, right? Yeah, or my, my Henry does? does. Wheel uh -huh. It's been 10 years since I've done any wheel throwing. <laughs> <laughs> I did try it the other day and I could do it. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Like well, riding a bicycle. And I like the uh, surface design techniques you use. Um, yeah. You use your own stamps and you use um, textured paper. Textured paper. That will make texture, right? My neighbor, she loves birds. Uh-huh. She says, I'm a teacher. <laughs> I use uh, things like uh, meat tenderizers, cones. And then you make your own stamps, and some too, stamps. don't you? Or, oh, little too. Or, she's got a bird back on. And you have a... A, a bird house, bird a, a visitor's helping you over here with some clay. Yes. <laughs> Let me get some pictures of these stamps you made. He's very experienced. He's kind of. He seems very confident. Yeah. True. And he works a lot faster than I do. <laughs>